Hey there, Iggy the Investing Iguana here. Today, we're tackling a hot topic in the world of investing, Microsoft's P.E. ratio. Is this tech giant overpriced or undervalued? In this video, I'll break down what a P.E. ratio is, how it works, and what Microsoft's sky-high P.E. of 37.8 means for you as an investor. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of this key financial metric and how to use it to make smarter investing decisions. So, grab a snack, settle in, and let's dive into the wild world of P.E. ratios. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the fascinating realm of financial metrics, specifically focusing on the price-to-earnings ratio, more commonly known as the P.E. ratio. This ratio is a crucial tool used by investors worldwide to gauge the value of a company's shares relative to its earnings. One of the intriguing examples we have today is the tech giant, Microsoft Corporation. It's currently trading at a staggering P.E. ratio of 37.8x. To put this into perspective, imagine walking into a burger joint where the price of a burger is $37.80. You might be taken aback, especially when you know that most other places sell them for around $17. It seems outrageous, doesn't it? But here's the catch. In the world of investing, a high P.E. ratio doesn't necessarily mean that the stock is overpriced. It could also indicate that investors are willing to pay a higher price today because they expect the company to grow significantly in the future. In the case of Microsoft, given its strong foothold in the technology sector and its continuous innovation, investors might be betting on its potential for higher earnings down the line. Before we jump to conclusions about Microsoft's high P.E. ratio, it's important to delve a bit deeper into what these numbers really mean. A high P.E. ratio doesn't always signify an overpriced stock. In fact, it can often indicate quite the opposite. Investors might be willing to pay a premium for the stock because they believe the company has a bright future ahead. In the case of Microsoft, this could very well be the situation. The tech giant has been performing exceptionally well, even when other companies are facing challenges. This resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to Microsoft's robust business model and its ability to adapt and innovate in a rapidly changing market. Investors might see Microsoft's high P.E. ratio as a sign of the company's potential for future growth. They're not just buying into the company's current success, but also its future prospects. They believe that Microsoft will continue to thrive and outperform the market, hence the willingness to pay a higher price for its shares. Microsoft's recent successes can be attributed to its strong product portfolio, strategic acquisitions, and continuous innovation. Its cloud computing platform, Azure, for instance, has been a significant growth driver. The company's investments in artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies also signal its commitment to staying at the forefront of technological advancements. So, while at first glance, Microsoft's P.E. ratio might seem high, a closer look reveals a different story. It's a story of a company that has consistently demonstrated its ability to navigate market challenges and emerge stronger. A company that, despite the odds, continues to crush it, making it an attractive investment for those looking towards the future. Therefore, it's essential to look beyond the numbers and understand the bigger picture before making any investment decisions. Imagine this scenario. While many companies have been grappling with declining earnings, Microsoft has been on an upward trajectory with its earnings soaring high. In fact, the tech giant has managed to increase its earnings per share, EPS, by an impressive 23% in the last year alone. This is a significant achievement, considering the economic uncertainties and market volatility that businesses often face. But that's not all. Over the past three years, Microsoft has grown its EPS by a whopping 64%. This is a remarkable feat that showcases the company's strong financial performance and its ability to generate consistent profits over time. It's akin to witnessing a transformation from a scrawny iguana to a robust, muscular lizard in a surprisingly short span of time. This rapid growth in EPS is a testament to Microsoft's successful business strategies and its ability to deliver value to its shareholders. It reflects the company's profitability and is often seen as a positive signal by investors. After all, a higher EPS can translate into a higher share price given the increased earnings potential. Moreover, this growth in EPS could be attributed to several factors. Microsoft's diverse product portfolio, its strategic investments in high-growth areas like cloud computing and artificial intelligence, and its strong market position could all be contributing to its robust earnings growth. The million-dollar question now is, can Microsoft maintain this impressive growth? 
According to financial analysts, who are often referred to as the smarty pants of the investment world due to their expertise and insights, the answer is a resounding yes. They predict that Microsoft will continue to grow its earnings per share, EPS, by an impressive 15% each year for the next three years. This projected growth rate significantly outpaces the rest of the market, which is expected to grow at a comparatively modest rate of 10% per year. To put it in simpler terms, imagine a race where Microsoft is the star athlete sprinting ahead, while the rest of the participants are merely trying to keep pace. This prediction is based on various factors, including Microsoft's strong market position, its diverse product portfolio, and its continuous innovation in high-growth areas like cloud computing and artificial intelligence. These factors have not only contributed to Microsoft's past success, but are also expected to drive its future growth. However, it's important to note that these are just predictions, and, like all forecasts, they come with a degree of uncertainty. Market conditions, competitive dynamics, regulatory changes, and a host of other factors can influence a company's actual performance. Therefore, while these predictions provide valuable insights, they should be considered as part of a broader investment strategy. So, what's the takeaway from all this financial jargon and numbers? The key lesson here is that the price-to-earnings, P.E., ratio is not just a simple tool for determining whether a stock is undervalued or overpriced. It's much more than that. The P.E. ratio serves as a barometer of investor sentiment, reflecting their expectations and confidence in a company's future growth prospects. At present, the sentiment surrounding Microsoft is overwhelmingly positive. Investors are optimistic about the company's future, and this optimism is reflected in its high P.E. ratio. They believe in Microsoft's ability to continue its growth trajectory and deliver on its promises. This confidence stems from Microsoft's strong track record, its innovative product portfolio, and its strategic positioning in high-growth markets. As long as Microsoft continues to meet or exceed these growth expectations, investors are likely to continue supporting the stock, thereby maintaining its high price level. This is akin to patrons willingly paying $37.80 for a burger because they believe in the quality and value it offers. All right, folks, that's a wrap on our deep dive into Microsoft's P.E. ratio. We've covered a lot of ground today, from understanding what a P.E. ratio is to analyzing Microsoft's impressive earnings growth and future prospects. Remember, a high P.E. ratio isn't always a red flag. It could signal that investors have faith in a company's ability to keep crushing it. But it's also important to stay grounded and not get swept up in the hype. The key takeaway? Use the P.E. ratio as one tool in your investing toolbox, but always do your own research and make informed decisions. And if you found this video helpful, show some love by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Your support keeps me motivated to keep sharing my investing insights with you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious, stay smart, and keep on investing. Iggy out.